that what we're trying to do is to uh, work out what a good theory of uh, games and learning is in the sense that what can we learn from games about better creating better le learning systems for kids whether we have a game or not. This is not about delivering games to people, it's about delivering learning systems and learning communities. The software or any of the digital technology has to be part of a rich learning system that involves adults, it involves peers, it involves relationships. How does it work in massive multiplayer sites? How does it work when kids are modding games? Uh, how, does, how does it work in gender? How, how do you recruit girls into gaming as a route to uh, other forms of technology, other forms of learning? So uh, we're looking at it in a variety of cases because we want this theory uh, not just to be an academic theory, but to be a theory of how we implement new forms of learning in and out of schools. Uh, these technologies allow younger and younger people to be experts, to do stuff they could not have done at that level before they got these technologies, and especially when they get into the right communities or they have parents helping them or mentors helping them. Um, and as, they, as we get better ways to let kids be productive experts and, and have passion and develop skills that really translate into abilities for the future world, um, we maybe want to get rid of this distinction between formal and informal learning. Uh, businesses, universities, not-for-profits, uh, everybody's getting into the business of 24-7 learning uh, supplying learning in situated ways to people customizable to their own agendas, their own trajectories. And uh, so we've created a very new form of competition for schooling uh, and uh, that might uh, for the first time make this a sustainable change once we get a new paradigm.